Welcome to the 2024 Delaware 4-H Hall of Fame. I am Jennifer Krause Hood, president of the Delaware 4-H Foundation, and I'm so pleased you're here to join in the celebration of our 2024 Class of Laureates. Now, let the celebration begin. This evening, we will celebrate laureates who have worked tirelessly to provide lifelong learning opportunities, memories, and support to all of our Delaware 4-H youth by sharing their talents and resources. We will now begin the induction ceremony. Our next inductees are Richard and Barbara Clare. The Clares were longtime 4-H leaders, volunteers, mentors, and parents with the Newcastle County 4-H program. They were the organ organizational leaders for the Wise Owls 4-H Club in Hokesson. Club activities focused on traditional project areas and provided a variety of 4-H experiences for club members who included their children, Mark, Martha, and Denny. Barbara and Dick were both Newcastle County links and often volunteered at both county and state 4-H events. Barbara grew up in 4-H and wanted her children to have the same experiences. She enjoyed both her sewing and cooking projects, eventually turning her 4-H sewing skills into a career. She earned a trip to National 4-H Club Congress with her clothing project. She enjoyed sharing the skills she learned in 4-H with the next generation, especially enjoying the dress review. Her granddaughters were the beneficiaries of those sewing lessons as well, and she always loved watching them participate. Dick Claire mentored 4 Hers in small engines, livestock, beef, and sheep activities. He was actively involved in teaching livestock judging skills and enjoyed coaching teams that traveled outside of the state. Dick was a Delaware State Fair Director and served for many years as the beef cattle superintendent. Dick and Barbara Claire left their mark on Delaware 4-H. They were amazing volunteers in every sense of the word always willing to help anyone who would ask. Debbie George is accepting the award tonight in her mom and dad's memory. Please join me in welcoming Dick and Barbara Clare to the Delaware 4-H Hall of Fame. Thank you. Well, she covered a lot of it, but I didn't know, so we're gonna need to do it again. So good evening, hello, I'm Debbie Claire George, and I feel very privileged to represent our family in accepting this honor on behalf of my parents, Richard and Barbara Claire. My father, Dick Claire, grew up on the dairy farm of off Limestone Road in Newcastle County. Most of you might recognize it at the farm as Claire Estates and Pike Creek right outside of Wilmington. When he was growing up, he was interested in farming participating in FFA, and he had a passion for fast cars. His motto was always work hard, play hard. My mother, Barbara, lost her father at a very young age and was raised by a single mother who owned and operated Mount Pleasant Mushrooms. And her mother was considered the mushroom queen of Hokesson. So mom was brought up to be a strong, independent, hard worker, which allowed her to tackle difficult challenges with a positive attitude and have successful results. She was a 4 her and went to National Club Congress in fashion review. She was quite the fashion plate. Together, their passion was their family and helping others. It was never a surprise to see an unfamiliar face across the dinner table growing up. They opened their home to many people during their lifetime, some who were struggling and in need, or just someone who needed a friend and a listening ear. That's just who they were. They both enjoyed being around young people, helping them and sharing their life experiences. Mom's strengths were homemaking skills, financial acumen, creating community through fellowship, and teaching life, life lessons through example. She also spread joy and laughter. And some of you might not actually believe that because we did call her the general. <laughs> Anybody who was involved with the fair and any of us player kids knew all she had to do was step outside of the trailer, let the first kid that went by, ask to see one of three of us or all of us, and we would be back at the trailer within five. <laughs> so she had us under control. So Dad's background led him to share his passion for small engines, raising beef cattle, poultry, sheep, and pigs and he coached the Newcastle County Livestock Program team. And he chaperoned us all over the countryside with the judging team. 
So participating in 4-H and being leaders was an active vehicle for them to raise their family and support their community. Dad became a fair board member and superintendent of the beef department at the Delaware State Fair. Meanwhile, mom was behind the scenes, keeping everyone and everyone, or everything and everyone on track and on time, including, and maybe most important, Dick. They were great role models that spoke what they thought, lived their lives how they believed, and were true to themselves. They would both be honored to receive this recognition tonight, but would have totally different reactions. Mom would be flabbergasted that such an honor would be bestowed, bestowed upon her. After all, she was just doing what she loved with and for the people she cared about. She wouldn't have considered herself worthy, and she was a great woman but never understood the true value and how many lives she touched and how much impact she had on others. We thank you for recognizing her contributions and positive impact. Dad, on the, on the other hand, would be like, it's about damn time. <laughs> Seriously, though, he would be in tears receiving recognition for his service to 4-H. He had a jovial, hard shell, but a soft underbelly, cute soul, and would be deeply touched tonight. Besides, Dad, you have to play to win, and this was the first time your name was entered for consideration, thanks to your granddaughter, Caitlin. Caitlin was the one who suggested the family to nominate my parents. And that's a big reason mom and dad stayed active in 4 H in, in their later lives. The opportunity to be close to their grandchildren, Caitlin, Seth, and Alex. Their family, their passion. Again, on behalf of my parents, Dick and Barbara Claire, thank you. It was their honor and pleasure serving our youth and community.